Another news alert this bank robber not using a note but a machine gun or rifle to rob two banks. And one of them, he also had explosives strapped to his body. Now the FBI releasing these photos in the hopes you can help them get him off the streets. Marshall Zellinger we're live in Aurora where that man hit just this afternoon, Marshall. And this is one of the still images that was captured from here inside this bank of the West, one of two different robberies over the last 10 days that this person suspected of committing. After he left here, he took off south toward, uh, over Colfax into a neighborhood that led police to searching uh, some Aurora homes. And tonight, he's still on the run. This man is suspected of robbing two banks in the last 10 days. This afternoon, he hit this bank of the West near Colfax and Havana, armed with this machine gun or rifle. 30 to 40 year old male black wearing black sunglasses, a hat, an ace bandage around his face, and a black hoodie with black pants. The FBI putting out this alert within hours of the robbery. They put the money into a flower bag. On May 23rd, the same man is believed to have robbed this Denver Key Bank near Leedsdale and Forest. The FBI tells us the man in these images from the key bank had a possible machine gun and what appeared to be dynamite strapped around his waist. One thing we still don't know tonight is why an alert was never sent out after that first robbery at the end of May when he's suspected of using dynamite. Tonight, Aurora Police, DPD and the FBI are still looking for him. Reporting live in Aurora, Marshall Zellinger, 7 News.